look here. You're having sugar flakes. I get these big boxes of cereal at Dollar Tree and they're like a dollar. It's good for feeding the animals outside. Look how cute these guys are. They're all still out here. They're getting a little cat food there too. There's old Escobar. Escobar, this is the GoPro, buddy. This is the GoPro, not treats. I just was feeding him some. What are you doing? Hey, this is the GoPro, Escobar. All right. I got a few uh, clips on this where I found stuff. Here's a bunch of stuff I've been digging on a ancient shell midden. Lots of pottery, bone which can be dated. You know, there's lots of, there's another little shard of bone. You can see this stuff here, some of the flakes, but I found some stuff. See, some of the pottery has engraving in it. But I'll put a few clips. I found like a triangle point. I found a couple fish spears earlier today. And some clips of the river. I've been kind of taking it easy the last couple days. But there's my buddies down here. They're still doing good. I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Yeah, I'm going to row around a while today. I found another area yesterday that has midden coming out. It's not very big. It's about five foot wide coming out of the bank. And it seems to be loaded, so I'm going to try to sift the rest of it today and see what else is there. And then there's another midden I can go to here. And some old places. I found that lance way up here. I'll go up in that area. I've got it pretty well cleaned out, but there's still some stuff in the water, and the water's perfect today. Later. Well, I just got here, and look what I found. A toad. It's Toad Master. Sorry, buddy. I'll get you up here. Look at him. He's beautiful. I love toads. Should take him for a pet, but he's right here by the river. It has to be a nice life. So I won't. I used to have a bunch of toads when I was little. Look at him. He's awesome. He's pretty active. We'll let him get you can go, buddy. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little nutting stand. It's a hammer stand. You can see it's been all beat on that side. Now look here. It's been beat into a pit. It's crazy. It's all fired and stained up. It's been down in the mud. Later. Yeah, that's an odd looking blade slash core, isn't it? Look, you can see where it's all been being worked in. Later. Yeah, there's a little nutting stain. There's a hole right there. Look at all this water that's far. Look at all of it. Just, I haven't found a point yet there. I'm finding bone. They raised the water there. I'll probably go someplace else. Look at all the bone. There's more bone. There's some, lots of flakes, but just lots of pottery today. They raised the water. It ruined it. So I'm gonna get some place else. I'll get back there. I'm starting the screen in here. I'm doing test pits right in here. I'll get this screen down. It felt real good, good going in. And I felt like this screen filling it up with the material that's right there in front of me, right there in that hole, that I'm gonna find something. We'll see what this looks like. See, this is nice sandy. soil laying in here with rock and stuff. See if there's flint evidence of ancient man. Should be. Here it is. Here's the fleet. Here it is. a core of black. There's another tiny finishing flake. Ancient shell. Fired rock. I don't see any points there. Yeah, there's another flake. This, there's a piece of pottery right there. There's another piece. I'll get back. I don't see any points in this. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I just sifted this in the last screen. Look at paper thin needle tip. It's probably a Madison or a Levana, but it snapped. Uh, and this came out of there too. A little piece of pottery with shell tempering, shell still in it. Later. Well, here's this little piece out of that midden. Snapped right there. Would have been nice. It's some kind of Madison or Levena style triangle. But here's the rest of the stuff. I kind of shaved some of it at the beginning. It's a midden and all that shell, look. Shell tempered pottery with the shell all in it. And I found lots of, see, that's a core. 
they were taking flakes off that I'll kind of see what's here kind of look at it real quick there's more pottery a blade you can kind of look at it here that almost looks like it has shouldering on it see it and all this bones what's interesting wonder what that is some kind of little jaw bone I'm not sure you can see all this it's all been busted open and it's all broken by human hands to get the marrow out all of it there's no intact bones in the middle it's all like this see well wanted to show you this stuff I'll keep going back here but I got this place pretty much sifted out now see there's another core it's all that was laying there I sifted later I had to come back down here to my kayak I have to take this off my head I have to wear a toboggan usually because this thing has a strap on it for my head if I just wear it without it it rubs your forehead I'm all sweaty and dirty but I'm where I found that real nice translucent fish beer and I got another fish beer it looks like it has a tip neck but in the same screen before we get to the point here here's the flakes that were in the screen with it real translucent stuff real I have a chance at multiple artifacts here if I stay a while but let's look here see there's some old cobalt blue glass that's old but oh, there's another flake right there but right here's a fish spear it don't have much off of it look at the classic torpedo shape this means it's a there's a fish spear encampment here see that's just classic I know it looks like a drill but it's a fish spear it's just one that's been they're long and narrow that's what it is real heavily polished base real kind of torpedo like cross section it has a little nick there and it has an inclusion in the tip or otherwise that's nice still to go with the other one see the cross section I'll see the other one with it it's not bad would have been a lot nicer if the tip was there but still it's an, up to a 9,000 year old piece later now that is a true heartbreaker that's another fish beer you can tell by it's real heavily polished that torpedo cross section and that's like red jasper orange red jasper it's just amazing that would have been a top of the line artifact busted some of the stuff's busted this is the third fish spear from here you can see the little base look how close they are there it's what it is it's just a shame that one's break all right here's these fish spears you can see they have that torpedo like cross section all of them do real heavily ground bases notches and here's the second one it's the same point type real nice material most of them are made out of this like this one here um, but here's what right in the same spot the first one I found was this and this is more classic this is the classic form of it for the northern panhandle of West Virginia and lots of them look like this one for the fish spear that's why this one's so nice see this it's got that real thick cross-section real heavy grinding so I'm on a fish spear site there's definitely gonna be more found there and I'll definitely get a nice cross-section of stuff from there that's you know up to 9,000 years old and here's a lot of recent points just you know from my videos that piece of hematite's just crazy that hoop well ain't bad from the woods, but you know, I can't complain. It was a slow couple days after finding a upper Mercer Lance, you know, a late paleo artifact. I, that's a year maker, honestly. And a lot of this other stuff's pretty nice, and the real good stuff's not even in this frame. The bird points and the Amos points, I got them put up with the type. Well, anyway, later. In this one, it's several days of hunting. The waters, this is where I found that Lance. Um, you can see the water's down It needs to be clear up to the base of the bank just this much look how shallow the water is I have to carry like the 80 pound screens clear out Even deeper clear out into there to sift them down. So I ain't gonna sift here I'll quit until the water comes back up. It makes it easier. You can't sift in this stuff 
See, this stuff makes awesome frames. This is all stuff off that shell midden, that little site. On the back of it, I have GPS coordinates, um, exactly where the location's at. There's datable material in here and a cross-section of what's on the site. Just found the Adena, put that in there. I said there was Jack's Reef stuff, and that's a Jack's Reef point I found in there last summer broken. It's a shame on that. All the Madison stuff I just found, the end scraper, and all these huge pottery shards off the rims and the decorated pieces, the shell in it, the bone, several pieces of bone there, and several varieties of pottery, all in the last few days here, with the exception of the one piece. Makes a good display. Check it out. That's a victory. Later. Well, I switched this around last night. This is more recent stuff. You can see I put some more nicer points in here I had in another little tiny frame, some Amos stuff. This frame's done now. It's all stuff from like January to now, pretty much. Some of these Amos points are pretty nice. I did pretty good so far this year. Try to fill another frame the second half. Hope you enjoyed. Later. Mm -hmm.